All right, welcome back to another RoboZone Extra. We're back, we're gonna talk about what's coming up in week three of Power Up. Dan, we got the first ever week five district simultaneously here in First Dimension, yeah. the most we've ever done. What do you think about that? I think I, <laughs> as, as a volunteer, I hope we survive it. Um, we're even what, bringing in an extra field from Indiana to get yeah. to our five this year. Um, next year we'll probably need five every week, but yeah. let's worry about that next year. Do you remember 2009 when we were terrified about doing two simultaneously for the first time? You and yeah. I were co-producing yeah. those at the same time. So a lot has, a changed, lot has changed, changed then. Yeah, we've got over 500 teams in the state, so we got events going on all over the place. we got five coming up this coming week. I'm going to talk about, you know, looking forward to the Lincoln District. This is the first mm -hmm. time ever we're having an event in Lincoln. Uh, so some notable teams who are coming. Uh, 8.30, the Rat Pack, uh, 9.10, the Foley Freeze from Bishop Foley mm -hmm. High School. We got uh, 28.32, the Livonia Warriors, uh, 35.42, the Green Engineers back again. They just won at Kettering. They're back out again in week three. And 36.04, the Goon Squad. Right, so yep. this is this is the, the week for 35.42 to prove it. Yep. Right? <laughs> Make the follow-up shot. It yeah. wasn't an accident. Um, based on how they played, I don't think it was. But, you know, second week, we're going to see, again, this is the first week where we're going to start to see some second event teams showing up. Um, and that can definitely put a twist on how things go in the event, too. Yeah, I mean, experience really helps on these. We see a lot of times teams coming out for the second or even third time have a big advantage mm -hmm. over lesser experienced teams in season. Yep, so Escanaba, so first event in the Upper Peninsula. It yeah. is... Uh, gonna have a lot of those Upper Peninsula teams, but we got a few people making the trip. Uh, 245, uh, fresh off their win at Kettering One, yeah, I Kettering believe. One. The Adam Bots are gonna be heading up there. Uh, we're gonna see 857, one of our, I think our oldest Upper Peninsula yeah, team. Yeah, they're the original. Uh, the upper original, upper yeah. So they're yep. gonna be there looking to show some of the younger teams how it's done. Uh, 904 has been strong, 3602. Uh, Robo Mo's 4391, Brave Bots, both, both had pretty good seasons last year. Um, there's a lot of these kind of up and coming 4,000, 5,000 number teams now that used to be the rookies, but really are what? They're gonna be in their fourth year by yeah, now? Yeah, a lot of these maybe, are fourth year fifth teams. Year. Um, so we're gonna, it, it's always exciting to see which ones of them are gonna make the step up. We saw maybe some uh, some good showings from 5505. Um, I'd like to see uh, what we can see from like 5989, 5702. Um, we'll see who's going to bring it this week in Escanaba. Yeah, and really we're sort of, you know, developing that UP culture up there. Mm -hmm. There's a whole big middle class of up-and-coming teams up there, and it's really great to see. And most of those up north events, we used to have to fill them with teams from down south making the long mm -hmm. trip up there. But now we have enough teams in the UP that we basically have three northern events. Uh, up at the north part of the state, and they're populated by teams yeah. who live up there. So and it's great. It's a yeah. it's a really good kind of camaraderie up yeah. there too. I know I know a lot of those teams work together, help each other out through problems. Okay, so Gull Lake back down on the southern peninsula here, uh, going a little more west. Uh, this will have a second time out for some of these teams. Uh, some notables at that we're going to see 1025 MPs again, mm -hmm. uh, number one pick and winner at center line just this past weekend. 35-48, uh, the Robo Jackets from Avondale High School, they were winner uh, and number one seed at, at um, Southfield in mm -hmm. the first week. Uh, we got uh, the 1243, the Schwartz Creek Dragons, always a favorite. Uh, the Twisted Devils, 43-81, and 58-43, uh, uh, Flurb. Again, they were one of the better teams at uh, Centerline in the opening week. So mm -hmm. again, Gull Lake, uh, we've been running that event out there uh, almost since the beginning uh, for seven years, I think now. Yeah, that's, and, uh, that's an old one. Yeah, it's an old one. So great event and uh, lots of teams coming out for the second time. Yeah, and, and some winners. So yeah, we'll some see winners. again who, yep. can, who can put two up and yep. uh, who's gonna fall a little bit short this time. Yep. So we'll see Milford though. Yeah, Milford, that's oh gonna be a God, thing. Oh my God, Milford. Um, yeah, just looking at the list. I mean, we were kind of going through, marking off some teams and um, I just highlighted the entire first page because wow. <laughs> uh, so 27, already played an event yep. out of state. Um, didn't win it, but uh, looks solid. Like they had a pretty, looks pretty good solid, showing. Yep. Uh, and they always get better as the season goes on. We got, you're gonna be there with 33. Um, won your first event. Yep. 51, Wings of Fire is going to be there. Hall of Fame. 67, Hall second of fame. place in the first yep. one. Another Hall of Fame team. <laughs> Got three Hall of Fame teams. Multiple world yep. champions. Yeah, all the Hall of Fame teams are there. <laughs> um, 
201, the feds. We've got we've got uh, the monsters also going to be there. 308, 503, Frog Force. I think Frog Force yeah. is going to be debuting there. Uh, Frog Force played in Indiana, ah, though, okay. yep. and so yep. this is and, their and, second and, and, outing so that's, as well. Yep, yep. So that's good. So we've got a lot of these teams that are good, but also playing for the second time. 548. Yep. Uh, Robo Stangs are going to be there. 1701 looked good at uh, Southfield. At Southfield. Yep. Um, Has one was number one five. seed. Yeah, was their number, number one seed. They fell a little bit short, but they played well through that entire elimination round tournament. Uh, twenty six twelve is going to be there. Um, twenty nine sixty. 35-36. Yeah, I mean, I, I could probably just read every, every yeah, number. Yeah, uh, 35-36 one with Bedford mm -hmm. already yep. uh, last week. Yep. So, yep. It's kind of interesting, though. I mean, so 4, uh, 4,994, also a winner, I believe, earlier. Yes, yes. 4362 Gems is another one of those um, sort of 4,000, 5,000 number teams that's on that cusp, right, of trying to break through and be But Gems already have an out-of-state yeah. win. They went to yep, Ohio exactly. and they won, yeah. they won at Miami Valley, yep, I think. Yep. Yep, so. And 5460 Strike Zone yeah. um, kind of break out a couple years ago. Yeah. Uh, one of the best robots in the state that year. Um, but when you get all the way to the bottom of the list, this might be the most rookie teams that we have in an event. I'm going to have to check, but there are 10 rookies at this event, 10 teams, uh, 7,100 or higher. So it'll also be interesting to see if that plays a role in the qualification matches, and maybe there's a little bit more luck in the schedule. But at the same time, we've seen some really effective 7,000 plus number teams, rookie teams this year. I think because first has come up with a really good um, game for them. There's the uh, hard challenge yes. at the scale, but there's the easy challenge at the vault, at the exchange and vault. And a lot of those teams um, that we've seen have really been able to fill that role. Well, and it really is pivotal. You need someone yeah. to do yeah. that, and you don't necessarily need a super fast robot, a super tall robot. If you have someone who is just consistent and capable, mm -hmm. uh, they can end up on a winning alliance, and it's really great. Yeah, um, so maybe some surprise yeah. rookies showing up as well. One team you skipped over, uh, which I thought was good, and it speaks to sort of the, the growth, 61-17 uh, Wingspan. Mm -hmm. Again, they won as the third member of the Upstart uh, Alliance winning from the number six spot at Kettering University. Mm -hmm. And again, we kind of, uh, we on my team, we mentor their team, and we have, uh, we've we worked to build some of those 6,000 teams up. And some of them are serious contenders now. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Again, again, apologies to all of the other teams here, but <laughs> can't read all 40 team numbers. That's right. Uh, our fifth event, uh, Gaylord. Um, in Gaylord, we're going to see uh, uh, 226, the Hammerheads from Troy. We're going to see 862 coming out the second time. This Team Lightning, uh, one of our world champions from last year. Coming down from up north, we got 1711, the Raptors. And uh, second time out for 5114, Titanium Tigers. Right? 862 especially. Yeah. Uh, again, one of our world champions last year from Michigan. Uh, and played really well. I mean, they came up a bit short yep. at, at their week one event. They were at Kettering, I believe. Um, but they played really well in those elimination rounds. So I think they're going to definitely be hungry for, for a win here. I think so. I think so. They, they've had a good team for years, and I expect great things out of them mm -hmm. this year again.